You know, we've been filming um, Oswald Holmes now for years, like three years, and I hadn't seen this before I arrived. And I just pulled up and I go, oh my goodness, this is so, it's so typical of Oswald to, to not know what you're gonna get. We did a French provincial last time. We did. We've done Georgian, um, and now we're doing a really ultra modern, um, you know, mid-century modern oh, house. Thank you. Well, compared to a lot of other builders uh, in our space, they're known for a certain type of architecture or a certain type of language. The great thing about Oswald Homes is we're not pigeonholed mm. by a type of architecture or a type of language. Well, I don't know what to expect. Well, it all depends upon the client. So whatever the well, client does. What's the story here? So this is um, a, a display home or it's a client house? It, it's a client house. The client we'd been working with for a while and they had a real passion for that mid-century modern style. Uh, they'd done a lot of research. They had a lot of pieces that they already owned. Uh, so we worked collaboratively. Wow, so this, this is kind of like the real deal. Yeah, so you've got some pieces straight out of the 1950s, 1960s. Oh my goodness. So as well as uh, modern day replicas or reinterpretations. And I, then I guess that's what this house is. Mm. It resembles a lot of the true architecture of the time, but it's a modern day interpretation with some of the bells and whistles that you get in homes these days as well. Now, Danielle, she's the interior designer. She is indeed. We work together from the very beginning. Uh, we look at the space. I look at it from the passive solar design and the architecture and geometry, but we work well together at the same time to see how we can get some of those authentic features into the home. I think it started sort of with Neutra and his Kaufman house and just the bringing in the lovely elements of all the, the stonework, the, the very simple roof lines, and I guess also I'm a bit of a green thumb so I like all my plants and my agaves and dracaenas and I guess that was in my mind from the start as to how this house would look a very subtle colour palette. It allows the sort of decorative elements like the, the lighting and plants to play a part inside the home and so it actually creates a very relaxed palette and a really relaxed place to be. It's a passive solar home. It's bringing the outdoors indoors, yep. which was uh, prevalent in the style of the time. Um, turns its back on the street, and it really just is a nice secluded private place. I mean, the garage you've set up is a little um, man's den, I guess, which has kind of kind of got that industrial kind of funky. Kind yeah, of it's sort of like um, a rumpus room, like yep. a Brady Bunch rumpus room. So that's where he's going to keep his motorbikes, chill out. They also do a lot of entertaining, so they can open up that garage door and actually look through could, between the spaces. Well, that could be a party room. Yep, and that's what it's. It's duality of space, and that's what we've tried to do. They've got, it's a multi-generational home. Yep. Uh, they've got a couple young kids at the moment, but they're looking at what the home could become in the future and how you can flow between spaces. It's truly an entertainer's house. Uh, it's got a great kitchen, very functional, but also the scullery is a secondary area to- Well, you can turn it into a bar bar, prepare, cook, do anything. And while people are out there cooking on the outdoor kitchen, you can actually talk to each other from the scullery area as well. Whilst this was a custom home that we created specifically for this block, what we've also tried to do is make this home or this feeling more accessible for people. Yeah. So we've actually come up with a few different designs, a bit smaller, different configurations. Okay. But the same principle and architecture and look of the home is being rolled into these smaller homes as well. That's awesome. So it's open for the public? It is indeed. Until when? Uh, it's open up till Christmas this year. That's great. Um, and for details, you're probably best going to our website. website. You've been awesome and you always surprise me. Thank you, you very much, Gary. Thanks, mate. Nice seeing you.